Okay, I've officially arrived at the hotel room, so taking some drinks out of the fridge so I can put all of my prized possessions, aka all of my food in the fridge. So I used baggies to save room. So I've got rice, sweet potato, chicken, peas. Yes, I use a frozen bag of vegetables because it actually also doubles as an ice pack, fun fact. Um, I have an avocado, I have some zucchini, um, an apple, hard boiled eggs, lots of them. And yeah, so I'm gonna put all this in the fridge and then I am going to walk to the store just to grab a couple of things that I couldn't pack, um, like pickles and I think, I don't know, I may grab a couple of other things. So gonna get all settled and we made it to our hotel. It's awesome. Hello, mom. Hello. All right, currently in the hotel lobby, I'm just waiting on Coach Paul and we are going to walk to the gym for a little one day out full body pump. So, I may get a little footage while I'm there, not sure yet, um, but so far I love this hotel. Super, super nice. This area is really cute too. It's kind of gloomy outside, but it's really hot just how I like it. So, gonna wait for Paul and then we are gonna walk to the gym. What is up YouTube? So I think the last clip I um, recorded was at the gym. So we went to Gold's Gym, just did a little full body pump. Um, Coach Paul actually told me not to do any cardio today because we got a lot of steps in. We walked to the gym, we walked to the store. So I'm at like 11,000 steps and it's like three. Um, so I am just chilling right now. I don't have my tan for like two more hours. So I'm trying to force myself to like sit down, kick my feet up. I'm doing a little work right now. Have an espresso. We have an espresso machine in our room and I absolutely love an espresso. Like it's so smooth. Um, so I'm sipping on that. I'm doing a little work. I'm going to shower soon because I'm a tan at five and then I have athlete check-ins and that is going to be fun. Oh, and I did actually, the clip before this, I showed you guys what it looks like um, when they were, we we peeked and we, um, we looked at kind of what the venue looked like where they were setting up and it is so, so cool. So um, I'll get some content for you guys a little bit later, but I'm enjoying my last few hours of not being tanned because those of you guys out there who have competed before know that once you get the tan, it's kind of it's kind of annoying, but it's it's fine. It is what it is. So I will catch you guys in a bit. All right, friends, I got my first coat of tan on. I think you can't really tell. Well, you don't get your face spray tan, so um, you can't really tell. Sorry, I have to figure out where I'm going into my room. Um, but I got my first coat of tan, and oh my gosh, they're so nice. Pro Tan is amazing, you guys. Honestly probably the best tanning company I've ever like worked with at shows. They're just so sweet and friendly. So now the glamorous part of show day or show weekend is now I have to be careful when I go to the bathroom because I can't let pee run down my legs. So I pee in a cup. That way I can like control where stuff goes because if it goes down my legs, it'll run my tan. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to my room and get ready to go to athlete check-ins. I've been working tirelessly for you guys, and so we want to make sure that you all have fun. I know how much time a lot of y'all have put in, just a lot of the other things that I have here, and we've all made it for me. So my mom just put my hair in this little, like, silk curler, and it looks so funny. Thank you, mom. You're welcome. We'll see how this looks in the morning. It's a pitch thing. It's like <laughs> okay, a pitch you guys. Satin. I have my retainer in, so don't mind my my lisp. But look at my current status. I am in bed. I have my hair all curled up, and just wait until you see it in the morning. No, I know it looks a little lot, but isn't she <laughs> so cute? My mom, I love her, and she wrapped me up because I'm so I have sheets on top of the bed, so I don't stain this white. Um, this white, um, the lovely hotel white sheets, um, and I'm like wrapped up like a cocoon. I'm so comfy, but yeah, we are just gonna. We're just watching Married at First Sight. Surprisingly, I'm really not that tired. I'm just very calm. I'm not that tired, but I'm gonna try to probably sleep a little bit soon. But thankfully, I've got a really slow morning in the morning. I honestly don't have to be anywhere until nine, so that is the first for me. So I'm gonna try to sleep in, maybe go get coffee. But I will see you guys in the morning for show day.
Bex, honey, what are your goals for tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know. I can't laugh. Or I go, like, oh, I can't stop laughing. Okay, so it's currently Friday night. Yep. And I am looking like a pink burrito in my lovely hair contraption. So my mom wanted to film me and ask me what my goals are for tomorrow. And I have to say, so I just made a post with my check-in number. And I am really overwhelmed in an amazing way by just all the support that I'm getting and like how many comments I'm getting of just people congratulate or not congratulating me but wishing me good luck and honestly I think obviously I want to do well tomorrow but above all I really just throughout this whole entire prep I think you guys have seen I've I've really struggled at times um but it's so it's been so rewarding and I just above anything I want to really inspire like as many of you guys as I can and just motivate you guys and if if there's one person out there that I have positively impacted I feel like it's worth it but I hope to make you guys proud tomorrow with whatever happens and I will see you guys in the morning when it's show day and look at that adorable <laughs> halo on her head. Okay, okay. All right, friends, I'm just keeping you updated. It's show day. So what's been going on this morning is it looks like I'm not gonna be on for a really long time, actually. So my mom put in my extensions. Um, we're gonna tune up my hair a little bit later. Um, I walked to get coffee and Paul and I, he wanted me to get a little blood flow. So I actually just went to the hotel gym and for like 20 minutes and just did some light upper body work and glute work. Um, and now I am headed to go get makeup done. Might be the makeup artist. She's my favorite and it's my favorite part of show day. And so next time you guys see me, I will be ugly I'm done. Makeup is done. I absolutely love this look. Favorite look today, V Slade, but she always does. She's amazing. Um, so now I'm gonna head to get my second coat of tan. Hello friends, I just got my tan. Enjoy this lovely little bonnet thing I have going on. Um, that was so cold. But now I'm gonna head back to the room. Um, the pros start in like 30 minutes, so I don't go on until after the pros. Um, so I've got a little while, so I am gonna put on my suit though, take some pictures for my coach, and I will show you guys what suit I am wearing. I'm excited. I was so nervous this morning, you guys. I think the nerves are dissipating a little bit. They're still there, but I'm trying to just be present and just soak, soak up the moment. All right, I am backstage, pro bikini. We're hanging backstage. Now we're just kind of waiting, probably like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes before we go on. All right, you guys, so I, my day is already made because all of, like I have three of my clients and my mom, they all, they surprised me and they showed up and I'm so grateful for them. So I have Laura, I have Hope, uh, Next up, I don't know, Hope, my mom and Jordan. And they all came from Dallas, so I'm so grateful for them. And they brought me the sweetest gift. It's such a Lexi gift. Like, <laughs> it honestly, my mom knows sometimes the littlest, like kind of silliest things so happy because I'll use them so I'll show you guys what they got me when I get back in my room but I love them I'm so happy I got to see them all we love our girl we love Lexi more than anything on the planet Thanks, so. okay so now we've got a little bit of time to kill a between at pre-judging finals so mom and I are headed down to meet Pat who is a photographer he is on pro physique um and he wants to get some pictures so I'm gonna get some fun pictures and then probably hang out because it'll probably be a long time before I'm on stage again so Back for finals. Hi. She's wearing her physique. And Texas is showing up. It's really hot in here. They say everything is bigger in Texas. And that is not the truth, y'all. It is 10 p.m. Fourth, fourth place and open. Um, I'm going to go up to the hotel room and eat. And take a shower. It's going to feel so good. And get my jammies on. I had to take off my makeup, but I loved it. Okay, friends, so I'm back in the room and you're propped up against the TV and I'm gonna try a bite of this donut I got from Voodoo Donuts. So it's kind of cut in half, um, but 
apple fritter. I love apple. So let's see. Let's see if it's as good as I have imagined. I haven't had a donut in forever. It's pretty good. Tastes like sugar. <laughs> Mom, you want to try? No. Yeah, you do. Come on. No, I do, don't. do it for YouTube. You're see. Come on. Oh, yes, we're going to convince her. <laughs> you want to try chur churro? Yeah, I would rather have that. That does not look appealing. Mom, you're on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, it's not the best. I'll be honest. It's not the best donut that I've had. That doesn't look good. No, I'm kind of disappointed. But uh -oh. I'm going to go have my protein bars now. That sounds better to me. My first form protein bars. They're like candy bars, but honestly, five out of ten. I mean, eh, that's good. How do you rate that one? Mm. The it was Maybe a churro. Eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll have to try that mm. one. That doesn't look good. I know. I'm gonna have to try churro, but okay. Just glad glad I got that on video for student, and I can't remember how long. Thank you for trying it on for for YouTube. All right. I'm on the airplane home. I'm gonna update you guys and do just like a quick debriefing of the weekend when I get home. Hi, mom. I'm gonna miss her. I'm so happy she was able to come, but I'll update you guys on everything when I get home. But for now, we got like 40 minutes left of this flight, so. Hello, friends. So I am obviously back home in Tampa in my apartment. I have been for a day now, um, but I wanted to kind of outro this video and do a quick little recap of what went down and then talk a little bit about what my next steps are because your girl ain't done yet. I'm not doing a one and done type of show um, because I do believe I have a lot of room for improvement um, and improvements that we can make in a short amount of time. So First and foremost, my first show in Texas was an absolute amazing experience. Like, to be very honest, it was just the best weekend. I, it was just not, not just the show, it was just being around so many amazing people, getting to spend time with my mom. We don't get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time together and we were just like, we loved it. And so it was such an incredible weekend. And so I placed fourth in my open class, um, which I am proud of. Uh, obviously, of course, I would love to get first, but I do feel like I was rewarded um, accordingly because like, I'll be honest, my class was big and like this was probably the most competitive show that I have competed in from a standpoint of the most like competition, the biggest classes um, like this. Just this wasn't just an NPC show where there were like four girls in each class. Like it was multiple like 10 plus girls in every height class for the most part. So I do feel like I was judged according to what I brought um, because I do need to be a tad leaner in my glutes. So one of the cool things though that I really appreciated is my client got a video of me um, on the live stream which I put earlier in this video and I was watching it and I was the last girl to walk on and do her individual routine in my height class and literally right after I walked off they started calling on the top four and I was one of those girls. So for me I was like oh wow okay so the head judge Tyler obviously saw me and like called me back immediately didn't really even have to think about it so that's good news so I truly feel like if I just come in leaner like lean on the glutes I'll be fine um and I can definitely make the improvements I need to make um so that's basically my feedback um overall look was perfect um like suit tan hair, makeup all of that um v absolutely slayed my makeup my favorite look to date gave me so many bar barbie vibes um but overall i need to just bring the same exact thing i brought at the texas show here in a few weeks i just need to be about two pounds leaner in my glutes so like those tie-ins can pop and i know i can do it so um which leads me to my next um kind of what my next steps are so i will be competing at the tampa pro um in about three and a half weeks so it's in my backyard it's about 10 15 minutes from where i live so i figure why not um it's another great show um it's actually a different judge this time so i did think it was going to be the same judge that from texas and i was really excited about that because i wanted to show him my improvements but it will be a different judge but that's okay nonetheless i will be there i'm excited to work um my coach put me on just like three days of a diet break meaning I'm, i mean i'm not eating like a crazy amount um but I'm eating a little like more than I was eating when we were pushing before my last show. So we'll see what happens. But the goal is to be about two pounds leaner going into the Tampa Pro to really bring those tie-ins and hopefully go for the number one spot. Um, and also don't mind me, I'm still like, 
I still have my tan on. I've really tried scrubbing this. This is this is the, still the result of like three showers of me scrubbing. So we shall see. It, my tan will probably linger around for a while. But I did want to share all of that with you. I um, just got you guys just a little debriefing because I can't remember where I left off. I think the last clip you guys saw was me in the plane with my mom. But it was just such a fabulous weekend. I'm so happy. I know I brought so many improvements compared to my 2021 package. I'll put like a little side by side up here that I made on my front pose alone. And in 2021, granted, my feedback was just Lexi, just put a little size everywhere, right? Because I think what people forget is that bikini is not just about being like a shriveled down like skeleton. It's not, you know, bikini is about full round bubbly muscle. And unfortunately like that comes with time and that comes with putting on muscle. So I do feel like I'm getting closer and closer to that look, which makes me excited. Um, and, oh, I think I already showed you guys, but I did get a medal and I'm happy. I have this little piece of hardware that I get to carry with me. Um, just says like a little souvenir, I guess from the show. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap up this video here, but guess what guys, we are still in prep. We are back to the grind and I'm gonna still continue to put out prep videos and now we've got the Tampa Pro coming up here in about 24 days so 24 days out 23 days out I don't know um so anyways if you watch the whole video thank you guys so much um last thing I have to comment is I met so many people at this show backstage and I had a few girls tell me they watch my YouTube and I just have to say that means the world to me because I don't by any means think I'm like a big, you know, YouTuber or anything, but just seeing like the impact that I've been able to make on like some people, it just really warms my heart. So if I ever do see you and you're watching, if I ever do see you like backstage at a show or just anywhere, please come up to me and say hi because it really does make my day. So anyways, wrapping up this video here for real this time, have a beautiful day wherever you guys are at in the world. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, comment below and I will catch you guys in the next video.